Real Laptops for Element 3D. Here is your folder you just download. And here is the Reality Kit models. You must copy and paste this folder in your Documents and Settings, Video Copilot and inside the Models folder. This is crucial because this is the Models installation. If you want to install this folder to the appropriate place, you won't see any 3D inside your template. After installing the uh, Reality Kit models, here is our After Effects template. Here is the video as presented in the preview video in the item page. And here are all the laptop scenes. Let's see how you can customize these scenes. Let's see scene number one. In the blue color layer are the controls. From here you have access to the device color, the laptop color. You have access to the two keyboard colors. The first one is the buttons and the other one is the keyboard letters. As you already see, there is a camera here and you have a freedom of movement as well as a freedom of colors. So you are free to customize your device and move with the 3D camera. Next is the uh, reflections and shadow or just shadow. All scenes are transparent and you can adjust the light settings from this brown color layer using these wheels and the ambient light. Here with the yellow color layer is the animation controller. From here you have access to all the transformations of the 3D model, including position and scale, of course. The keyframes can be adjustable, just like all After Effects keyframes. There is also a slider here for the open and close lead animation. Of course, this slider can have keyframes. Next is the red color layer, which is for the placeholder. By double clicking this red color layer, you place your image or video just above this gray layer. Of course, you can add an After Effects composition with animated text and video too. Let's go to scene number five. As you see, all scenes are identical and use the blue color layer for the controls, the brown color layer for the lights and this yellow color layer for the animation, transformation and open close lid. There is also this depth of field layer which uses a camera lens blur which is based on this depth of field gradient. In the white areas, you have a blur, as you see here, which can be animated from here. So you can have a blur radius animation and make a nice effect. I hope you enjoy working with these uh, real laptops for Element 3D and make great prompts. Thanks for watching.